Welcome back to PNG Trends Burner. Did you hear Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese's latest announcement reaffirming his government's support for the Papua New Guinea NRL club? Yes, you heard it right. The Australian PM has just reiterated the federal government's support for Papua New Guinea's bid to join the NRL as the 19th team. PNG NRL 19th team is closer to reality than ever. Now let's dive right in. The PNG NRL bid is a game changer. With the Australian government backing this move, PNG is set to join the ranks of the National Rugby League, bringing a whole new dimension to the sport. This isn't just about adding another team, it's about expanding the league's global reach and strengthening ties between Australia and Papua New Guinea. A landmark deal was finalized in 2024, securing a whopping $600 million in federal funding over the next decade to support the PNG NRL team. This isn't just an investment in rugby, it's an investment in the future. The funding will support community outreach programs and initiatives that will benefit the people of PNG. The Australian government's Pacific strategy aims to promote stability, prosperity and security in the region. And this move fits perfectly into that vision. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has been a vocal advocate for this expansion. He recognizes the passion for rugby league in PNG and understands the positive impacts it could have on the nation. This dream has been nurtured for years, and the 2024 agreement marked a significant step towards its realization in 2028. The Aussie government decade-long commitment to PNG NRL team means the support extends to 2038. Of course, there are challenges ahead, ensuring the safety of players and staff in Port Moresby, a city known for its high crime rates, will be a priority. Attracting top talent and building a competitive team will also require careful planning and investment. Regardless of what the opinions are, the PNG NRL team has to be a Port Moresby-based team, as the rewards and benefits are massive both for Port Moresby City and for NRL. This team must not be taken away from Port Moresby. The Australian PM emphasises this key point here. The vision that's there is for the team to be based in Port Moresby. There will be considerable interaction and benefit. Despite negative views of a Port Moresby-based NRL team, the PNG government and the NRL are confident in their ability to overcome obstacles and create a successful franchise. The inclusion of a PNG team in the NRL marks a new era for rugby league. It will expand the league's global reach, attract new fans, and showcase the talent and passion of players from the Pacific region. As the PNG team takes the field in the coming years, it will be a symbol of unity, progress, and the enduring power of sport to inspire and unite communities. To put it in perspective, the PNG NRL bid is not just about expanding the league, but about fostering growth, opportunity, and stronger ties within the Pacific region. With the Australian government's support, the dream of a PNG NRL team is closer to becoming a reality, promising an exciting future for rugby league and the people of Papua New Guinea. The Australian taxpayers are saying the money could have been used to house the homeless and needy in Australia. What do you think? If you like this video, you'll love the videos in the playlist here. Check it out. Thank you.